training room, I try to do full, like, full body stuff, make sure my whole body good, uh, ice tub, hot uh, hot tub, just make sure my whole body good, really. And not really too much, I really do, though. I assume that becomes more important as the season goes on and you play more games to get more reps on. Say that again? It, it becomes more important to kind of take care of your body and, and everything like that. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I mean, and then, you know, in a couple more games, you know, that's when we start conference play. So, you know, that's, that's what really counts right there, so. It makes sure my body good by then. When your touchdown running in Cincinnati, Kanata made a really big block towards the end. Did you did you notice him making that block as you were getting good close to the end zone? Oh yeah, 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 definitely, yeah, I definitely did. I mean, so that whole play was just, it was just, yeah, it was just crazy. I mean, the whole game was crazy. You know, we started slow, and shoot, the last. I mean, I'm just proud of the team. We fought all four quarters, uh, and you know that just really shows a lot about this team. That no matter no matter what the score is. Keep fighting. I mean, you guys, I mean, it was down to like five minutes left in the third quarter, and you're still down three touchdowns. Yeah. And your head coach said yesterday there was more confidence on the sideline than maybe he's he's ever seen. I mean, what, like, oh, was there yeah. something leading that? Where did that come from? You guys had that confidence? I mean, to be honest, I don't know what. So it's just like the whole game, like everybody head was just up. Like we wasn't down that, like not one time during the game. Everybody was still confident. We, I mean, we knew. If we everybody did what they were supposed to do, like things was gonna work out how it was supposed to. And shoot, the fourth quarter we all just came together and it just clicked. And that's what happens. I mean, all but everybody doing what they supposed to do, that's what happens. It didn't show when you your touchdown pass was run, but you were limping a little bit in the second half. How much pain were you trying to ignore that one? I mean, sure, yeah. I, I was really I just wanted to win. I wanted to help the team win. I wanted to do whatever I could to help. But I was in a little pain, you know, but you know, during the game, you ain't really thinking about the pain. You know, you just you just want to win. You know, it was a close game, so I really, I really wasn't trying to get out of the game, man. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna be good though. Uh, so you good. Uh, on that long catch and run, you, you knew it was gonna be a touchdown before the ball was even snapped. How often does that happen? Where you're you're sitting back there, you're in your stance, the ball doesn't snap yet, and you're like, oh, this is a 20 yard play, this is a touchdown. This is I mean, yeah, like a lot of our passes play. I mean. Shoot, I, I like to read the coverage, you know, see what they about to give us. So I really know what I'm about to do before it get there, you know. So I seen they was playing man, so I'm like, oh yeah. yeah I mean, that's what that's what we want. This whole argument, that's what we want. We want them to play man. It should work out how it's supposed to. What's the fiercest rivalry you ever played in? I mean, you played obviously down in Miami, you played in Western Carolina. What are some of like the fiercest rivalry, rivalries you've ever played in? To be honest, I ain't never had no rivalry game. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean this this would be the only really the rivalry game I only played. I never really had a rivalry game. I mean in high school, but it was not It's not really it wasn't really a rivalry to me. <laughs> yeah. Have you thought about what it's gonna be like with seventy thousand people in the stands? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I thought about like you know me scoring and there all all the fans just you know going crazy. You know, I just I'm just I'm just ready for the game to be honest. It's gonna be exciting. I'm, it's gonna be a fun game to watch. Ask Nate the same question, but what, what have you learned about this rivalry so far from the oh, players yeah. and coaches? Oh yeah, it's, it's it's hate. You know, between both of they hate us, we hate them. That's he showed uh, Coach Dude showed us a couple videos of uh, West Virginia fans last year how they was acting, and you know, I I mean that would make it fun. You know, uh, sure, we just got to come out and play good. We got to start fast. And sure, it'll be good. Yes, this guy uh, Trey Lathan, uh, West Virginia plays linebacker. I think he's from around yeah. Here. Yeah, I played. I played against him uh, in high school in the All Star game before. Pretty good player. I mean, yeah. I think you, you guys beat him pretty bad. Oh yeah, we uh, yeah we killed yeah we killed them. Uh, I think we I think we beat them by like three touchdowns. Was, you know, it's All Star game, having fun out there. Uh, you know, it's all love though. But yeah, he, he's a, he's a good player. Uh, looking forward to playing against him. What makes him good? Uh, he just he, he's big. Uh, he he's smart. You know, he he makes a lot. Of, I mean, he makes a lot of plays. You know. Really, the whole linebacker court, they have, have a nice linebacker court. Uh, so we, you know, we just gotta, we just gotta do what we're supposed to do as an offense. And the final, Desmond, thank you.